What up, world? Hey, I just realized I didn't give y'all no goddamn motivation in a minute. Now, I'm in the gym with Morpheus, and we talking. And as we talking, I'm figuring out that this energy, this energy is contagious because we feeding off of positivity, man. And the positivity that I'm about to pop y'all in the mouth with is powerful. That's right. The positivity that I'm about to pop you in the mouth with is powerful. Let me tell you the beautiful thing about life is that you have the ability to live it to the fullest. And in living your goddamn life, you can achieve the unachievable if you truly believe it. My question is who believes and who doesn't? And if you don't believe, the bigger question is why? Why not make yourself a believer of your own abilities? I believe that I can do whatever I put my mind to. It's only up to me to prove myself right or wrong. I love to prove myself right. Why? Well, I think that's winning. When I proved to me that I can do what I didn't see myself or I did see myself doing, God damn it, I won. People, you against yourself. Be better than you were yesterday. I just popped you in the mouth with a piece of power. Morpheus, give me the red pill. Wait, I mean, the blue pill. It's time. <laughs> it's time for me to do another round, man. Hustle heart. This energy, this hustle is here if you need it. I only want to make people better. I want nothing more out of life. Take some of this, man. Take some of this, and I suggest you give it to others. The more positivity and inspiration and love that we pass around, the better this world will be. I'm doing my part. Are you? Are you doing your part? Biggs, are you doing your part? God damn it, Biggs. I said take the fanny pack off. I told you before the video. All right, shit. I'm not deleting it. It's going up, Biggs. It's going up. And that is a real life Muhammad Ali tank top. Muhammad Ali wore that tank top when he sparred. Who was it? <laughs> Lefty Lou Frazier. That's my guy. Biggs is my guy. I love y'all, man. Live, love, and laugh. Positivity for your ass. Uh, good morning. Day one on the set of my new movie, Fatherhood. Another drama. Uh, I'm excited. And I got some good energy for y'all on this beautiful Saturday, man. Some words that I feel people need to hear. And this is so dope. It's such a great comparison. Um, I was on the computer. And when I was on the computer, I saw spam and shit kept popping up on my computer. A bunch of clickbait. Try to get you to click stupid shit. Try to get you to feed in to dumb shit. And then when they get you there, they get you the information so they can constantly send you this bullshit. And I thought to myself, I said, that's the same thing in dealing with people and negativity. People come at you with negative shit because they try to get you to basically click on their clickbait. It's live clickbait. Don't let people hit you with live clickbait they come to you with shit hey man you know what i don't like and they see if you jump on it what what's that you don't like they got you they got you implemented that negative virus in you don't let people hit you with a virus you don't need that fucking virus tell the fucking virus to get away go clean your world the same way you would clean your computer of all that fucking dirt clean your life of the dirt man you don't need it around you baby click bait think about it People can be clickbait. Those that say what you can't do, what you don't want to do, what you're not going to do, they are fucking clickbait. You're a virus. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Onward and upward. The road to progression continues. Uh, constantly challenging myself and evolving. Fatherhood. Day one. Another movie. Another big one. Another hit. Let's get it, Kevin. Let's get it. Happy Saturday, people. I love you. Good morning, world. I, um, I read some real dope shit today, and I just wanna, I wanna share with you guys because it, it really, it really sat well with me, and I think it's something that everybody should just simply hear and understand. Listen to this. It says real achievement has value precisely because it is so difficult, because the odds against it are so high. The fact that you can put forth sustained effort and create value is an amazing state of affairs deserving of your constant gratitude and utilization. Seeking to cheat the process ends up seriously cheating and depriving yourself. Life gets unbearable grim when you prevent yourself from making a difference. Yet, fortunately, that never has to happen. Always in every moment are opportunities to contribute your effort to earn the fulfillment of a life well lived. Do the good work, respect others and enough to expect the same of them and then make the rewards real. Basically what that's saying is don't cheat the process. Work hard, put the work in, get the benefits from it, 
and you'll feel like you deserved it. You'll feel like you're you're deserving of these moments that you literally have bust your ass for. Don't cheat the process. Ever. Work hard. Work hard so you can play hard. Message of the day. Happy Monday. Morning world. Um, just want to hit y'all with some morning positivity, inspiration, motivation, words that I feel like are necessary, man. It is so important to surround yourself with good energy. You know, I took this trip and I, I brought a bunch of my, my closest friends out here with me, man. And what I'm realizing is that when you got such a tight circle, a tight bond with the individuals that are in your day to day, it really allows you to move and maneuver at a high level because the people around you are giving good energy. When you guys got good energy, you feed off of that fucking energy, man. And energy grows, that shit spreads. It spreads in a way like you can never even believe. And I'm sitting here and I'm looking around me, of course not now, but this is yesterday, like when we're just chilling and we're just vibing and I'm like, I'm happy. I'm happy because of what I have around me. It makes me happy to see my friends happy. It makes me happy to see other people enjoying fucking life, man. Find your levels of happy. Find you people that you can be happy with. From family, from friends, to anybody. That shit is so important. Your circle is so fucking important. Everybody can't be in your circle. Everybody can't be in your your shit, in your, your clique. Everybody can't be in that. It's only a selective few that should be. And those that are allowed to be, God damn it, make sure you make it your priority to make each other better. Make each other better. It's my morning motivation. Hope it made sense. K Hard out. I don't know what the spin is for. Sorry. Oh, back from vacation, recharged. So that's the purpose of vacation. The purpose of vacation is to simply recharge your battery. Let me tell you something right now. I'm on a full fucking charge, which means I'm ready to get after it, man. Ready to get back to work, back on my grind. I'm about to be 40 in July. I'm focused. I'm about to whip my body's ass for three weeks straight. On top of that, prepare for this next movie, Fatherhood. When I'm done doing Fatherhood, I got Jumanji promo. When I'm done doing Jumanji promo, I got another movie I'm shooting. Then I'm doing a TV show. When I'm done doing a TV show, we're talking about another animation film. When I'm done doing that, I got fucking stand-up comedy that I'm about to focus and grind on. God damn it, my battery is recharged and I want more. I want more. Hustle hard and full of fact. Operation Takeover the World has never not been an operation. It's always been my focus. It's always been my grind. I got a full battery. I'm recharged. Let's go. Get motivated. Come get some. God damn. And my time clock is off and I can't sleep. And I ate every goddamn thing on the planet while I was in Thailand. So now that I'm back, as soon as I touch down, I'm in Hustle Heart Fitness. Let's go! Oh! Look who just showed up! Let's go! You gotta have a part here in crime. Let's go! I'm in here! It's time to Get some, want some, go get yours. I'm gonna get mine. Let's go.